and start a little <coughs> more at the beginning. Uh, and like what distinguishes computer science from physics, for example. Uh, <coughs> and in fact, it's the notion of event uh, that, that does. If uh, you look at a flip-flop flipping, for example, uh, it changes from, say, zero to one. Well, if you're a physicist, and you, know, you just put an oscilloscope on that uh, flip-flop, you'll see that, well, it's maybe not exactly zero, it's you know, sort of close to zero, maybe wiggling a little, and then it, uh, you know, the flip-flop will start flipping, and it'll sort of go up like this, and the voltage will come around like that, and then, you know, eventually, and what uh, to some physicists might seem like a long time, uh, you know, maybe uh, a tenth of a nanosecond or so, uh, it, you know, stabilizes to approximately a one. Well, in computer science, what happens is we abstract that physical process of, you know, changing from zero to one into a single event, that's atomic indecomposable event. And so we, a digital system is one in which we can view a behavior, an execution, whatever, of the system as consisting of a collection of those atomic events uh, viewed at some level. And the atomic event may be the flipping of a flip-flop. The atomic event may be the receipt of a message. Uh, it may be you know, the computation of uh, that you know, may take several microseconds or you know, perhaps a minute. Uh, if, because we're not concerned with what, with what is happening during the actual length of time that that event is, is occurring. Uh, because there's no interaction with what else is going on during that time. And so we pretend that that event happens as, a, as, as an indecomposable uh, atomic event. A representation of the system as events is an abstraction. And uh, we make that abstraction I mean, we can consider that abstraction for a purpose. You know, we're not creating art. We're trying to understand the, the systems we build. And if you're a, a hardware engineer, well, if, if you're uh, a real hardcore, you know, uh, what a colleague of mine calls friend of the electron, uh, you wouldn't consider the flipping of a flip-flop is a single event. You have to worry about you know, this period of, you know, this transition period. Uh, but if you're designing hardware at a higher level, then the single event might be not even not the flipping of a single flip-flop, but uh, the setting of a, of a certain register, which is you know, a, a collection of, of a, a whole bunch of, of circuitry. Uh, and when you're viewing it, you know, generally it's at the software level, you're viewing it um, at a higher level of abstraction or, uh, where the individual uh, events represent bigger things, such as the receipt of a message, which involves basically... Um, electrical signals that are, have been propagating along the wire, you know, suddenly being received and processed and all of this electrical stuff that I have no idea what's going on is done when somehow, uh, you know, the operating system says, here's this message, it has just arrived. And we represent that as a single event of the arrival of a message. To call, say that you have a digital system or a discrete system means that you are considering its behavior as composed of discrete events. And even uh, 
within the uh, uh, within a, in software, for example, you can view the same thing at different uh, levels. For example, in uh, you might say the, think of the at some level represent the receipt of the message as a single event. But if you say look at the internet, you know down at a, at a different level, well you see the this message has actually been broken up into packets that are going all over the place, and the receipt of that message is actually a collection of events at the lower level. 